in the vast ocean of YouTube, one name stands out. A name synonymous with jaw-dropping challenges, mind-boggling giveaways, and large-scale philanthropy. That name is Mr. Beast. Born Jimmy Donaldson, Mr. Beast has not only redefined what it means to be a content creator, but also sparked a new era of digital philanthropy. But how did the teenager with this modest following rise to become one of the most influential figures on the internet? Today we take you to a journey through the remarkable rise of Mr. Beast from his humble beginnings to his, to his meteoric ascent to YouTube royalty. Like many others, Jimmy Donaldson's YouTube journey began at a tender age of 13. In 2012, he started uploading videos about video games. Titles like Call of Duty and Minecraft filled his early channel. Prepared with attempts at humor that sometimes missed the mark, it was a slow and steady climb, marked by years of experimentation and self-discovery. Along the way, Mr. Beast made mistakes, some jokes didn't land, and some content was far from polished, but what set him apart was his determination to learn and grow, to recognize the power and responsibility that comes with influence. The turning point came in 2017. With a video that caught the internet's attention in a big way, counting to 100,000. This wasn't just a video, it was a fate of endurance that took nearly two days to complete. It was the moment the world took notice. From here, Mr. Beast crafted what would become his signature formula outrageous, high stakes challenges paired with mind bending generosity. Who could forget last person to leave this circle wins $100,000 or I bought everything in a store. These videos weren't just viral hits, they were a blueprint for the success that would catapult Mr. Beast to the top of YouTube. My first really, really big one was when I counted to 100,000. The thing was, that one blew up because like everyone was just reacting to it and be like, what a fucking idiot, get a life, which was great, it was cool. This is when FaZe Clan was huge and they all reacted to it in their vlogs and tons of people were talking about it. The reason I did that is I was watching a show called Naruto. It's like 700 episodes, but I couldn't justify the time to watch it. So I started thinking, how can I make money while I watch this? And then I practiced counting and I realized I could count while still enjoying the show. And so the entire time I counted to 100,000, I was just watching anime but mr beast didn't just want to entertain he would he wanted to make a difference his content began to take a new dimension one that blended entertainment with philanthropy whether it was planting 20 million trees throughout team trees or paying for life-changing surgeries mr beast generosity became defining feature of his brand However, this shift wasn't with controversy, without controversy. Some began to question the ethics of what they called stunt philanthropy. Was it right to monetize acts of kindness? Or did the good outweigh the bad? This debate would follow Mr. Beast raising important questions about the nature of modern day giving and the role of social media charitable effect, effort in the society. As his influence grew, so did his ambitions. Mr. Beast expanded beyond YouTube, launching several successful business ventures. There was Beast Burger, a virtual restaurant chain that quickly spread across North America and Europe. Then came Feastables, a snack brand that branded tasty treats with large-scale giveaways reminiscent of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. At, and let's not forget 
this philanthropy, a channel dedicated entirely to charitable causes, where every dollar earned goes back to the need to those in need in the society. These ventures have not only diversified Mr. B's income but also solidified his reputation as a businessman with a heart of gold. We need four burgers! Four! Four burgers! I've never done this in my life. Guys, we're making our first customers wait! I'm sorry for making you wait. Here's $100. Oh, thank you. You might want to give another 100 It's going to be a second. Chris said it'll be a second. Here's another 100 Oh, oh my God. God. We got burgers now! Here's a burger. <laughs> Cooking is way harder than I thought it was, uh -huh. so you're gonna have to stall people. Play the clip of the line. <laughs> There's no stalling. We're blocking traffic. Figure it out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Carl, the line is too long. I need you to just grab burgers and just start go giving it away. You two, go, go. Hi, 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 here, hi. I already ran out, oh God, okay. I want burgers. Yo. Thank you. Yet, as with many figure who reaches such heights, Mr. Beast has faced his share of controversies. In recent years, allegations have emerged from accusations of mistreating employees to claims of faking content. The most damaging came from former employee using Pseudonym Dogpack 404, who alleged that Mr. Beast's challenges were rigged and that some of his giveaways weren't as generous as they seemed. These accusations sent shockwaves through the YouTube community, leading to intense scrutiny of Mr. Beast's methods of raising questions and raising questions about the authenticity of his content. <sighs> I messed up. You guys have exposed me in the past and uh, I thought I'd just show my true self. I actually have to fake my content sometimes just so people think it's real. Like Chocolate Factory, that video is fake. So the Chocolate River just physically was impossible. Excuse me, how about we put a chocolate river with a chocolate waterfall in the middle of this warehouse? And so that's when we were like, all right, fuck it. I think we're gonna have to get into CG on this. 100 boys in one and 100 girls in the other. You know, it's scripted. After 100 hours wins $500,000. After the like, very like strategic on how I pick people for content. So some of those are like people I knew, casting director and my current girlfriend. I mean, again, it's kind of cheating, but who the fuck cares? I mean, at the end of the day, you just kind of do what you gotta do. You know, spending 50 hours in the middle of a desert. We are going to spend the next 24 hours in the desert. Fake, there's just no way a fucking YouTuber could do that. Bury myself for 24 hours. So Antarctica, none of them were real. Now I'm giving away my secrets, but oh well, I'm in too deep. The reason I did that is unlimited money. Beast Burger, it's fucking illegal. Beast philanthropy, it was literally the worst time of my life. I hated it with the passion. You know, I, I give away money and I help people because I feel obligated to. And so I just kind of do. But none of that matters. No one fucking cares. Ava Chris Tyson of the Mr. Beast crew had a ton of evidence surface about horrible behavior with how they communicated with my I'm not like super up to date on like all the drama. When I was in that gang with all those guys where we just we would just do the dumbest things i mean we would just harass the little kids we were just literally insane my best friends chris they just fucking suck but um the link's in the description if you want to see them i mean i'm not endorsing people to go look at somebody else's private business i just called him i was like you fucking dipshit what the fuck are you going on and yelled at them many many times about that i thought it was fucking hideous and i just told him he was an idiot carl Chandler, Chris, the three guys fucking hate their jobs. They want me to die. But this train track is CGI, these bus wheels are CGI, this explosion is fake, this shredder is CGI, this car is digitally lifted. The criticism I get is valid. Who the fuck cares? Keep doing what you're doing. It's not a lurker. It's just a guy. This whole room is fake. What a fucking idiot. Get a life. This contestant is an actor and a secret employee at Mr. B. It literally does not matter at all. I've got through this fake door twice. This line is scripted. This action is scripted. Uh, in fact, pretty much all the videos with Mac are scripted. Fuck. This fucking guy. Get the, go away. Fucking leave. Well, the video we just finished filming, a $1 lawyer versus the million dollar lawyer. Put this at the ending of the real one. Hey, this is why you should pay that $10 a month. Fuck poor people. Despite the controversies, Mr. Beast's impact cannot be denied. His content has raised millions for the charity, inspired countless acts of kindness, and set new standards for what can be achieved on YouTube. He has created a community of fans who believe in his vision and continue to support his mission. As Mr. Beast navigates the complexities of, influence, of his influence,
he has become more aware of the power of his words and actions, striving to balance entertainment with ethical considerations. So, how do you feel? Do you think Mr. Beast is whatever people say that he is or he is? He, is he a good person as they claim that he is? Just let me know in the comments below. Looking to the future, Mr. Beast's journey offers valuable reasons for content creators and influencers alike. His story is a testament to the power of perseverance, creativity, and deep understanding of what captures the human spirit. As he continues to push for the boundaries of content creation, the world watches closely, both inspired by his successes and wary of the challenges that lie ahead. Mr. Beast's legacy is still being written and only time will tell how his story will shape the future digital media philanthropy. Mr. Beast's journey from a humble gamer to a cultural icon is one of the most compelling stories of our time. He has redefined what it means to be a YouTuber, blending entertainment with social impact in a ways no one could have imagined. But with the great power comes great responsibility and the ongoing debates about his methods serve as a reminder that influence must be wielded with care. What do you think about Mr. Beat's approach? Is he a force for good or does his philanthropy come at a cost? Let us know in the comments below and do not forget to like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into the stories behind the internet's most influential figures. Thank you guys and keep locked on this channel for more videos.